Hello and welcome to a special effects tutorial from Aroha Media. At the end of this tutorial, we learn how to create and animate a fountain in Flash. The techniques we will be using in this tutorial are creating a symbol and using duplicate symbols with good effect. Let's begin by pressing Ctrl O to open Fountain 1. So let's begin. You can see the drawn object which is a structure for the fountain. Create a new layer. Insert an oval shape to create a fountain. Press Shift key to draw a perfect circle. Not using the Shift key will give us an oval shape whereas holding the Shift key will give us a proper circle. Delete the outline. Fill the circle with blue. Press F8 to convert to symbol graphic. Give a name you like to symbol. Now again, convert this symbol into another symbol. We'll see later the reason for creating a second symbol inside the first symbol. Now duplicate this shape by pressing down the Alt key and dragging the shape as shown in the video. And scratch the shape a bit. We'll be using this duplicated shape for creating our fountain. Drag it over the structure we have just created. Place it at the expected water flow position. Now, why have we duplicated a symbol? It's difficult and complex to apply effects on squashed shape. We'll be applying the actual effects on the original circular shape. The duplicate symbol is linked with the original shape. Therefore, whatever changes we'll do to the original one, the same changes will be applied to the duplicate, that is, squashed shape. Now select the original circular shape. Create a keyframe at the 50th frame. Add motion twin to it. Next, we have to apply rotation. So select rotate anti-clockwise CCW1. This will rotate the shape once in 2 seconds continuously anti-clockwise. You'll come to know the actual effect of this process very soon. Please be patient. Next. We need to apply the water flow effect. Use the eraser tool. Drag it on the outline of the circular shape. Smoothly erase the outer line of the circle. Make sure you are making the outer part uneven but only a very small portion. Repeat the same action in the inner portion of the circle as well. Remember, you will be drawing the freehand circle inside with eraser tool and should not be a fine line. Delete the innermost filled in portion. Did you observe? The changes you are applying on this original circular shape are being applied to the squashed duplicated symbol. This is the advantage of using the duplication feature. You may refine the edges if required. Just keep observing that the changes we are making to the original circular shape are reflecting in the duplicate symbol. Now, can you see the rotation? Come outside the symbol and add a frame on the 50th frame. Check the rotation. Excellent! Now select the squashed symbol. Increase its height a bit. Insert a new layer. Draw a rectangular patch in this layer which is going to be used for masking. Delete its outline. Fill it with a different color. We have minimized its opacity. Now match the bottom line of this patch with the surface on the fountain's tank. This is the water level that will be visible. Match it completely as shown in the video. We'll have to delete the portion from the patch to hide the objects. Can you see how we are working on the pipe and mouth of the fountain from where water will be flowing out? Keep on watching the edits on the screen and apply accordingly.
Now right click on the layer, select mask. We had already learned this technique in the previous module. Due to this mask, only desired portion of the fountain will be visible in the preview. Cut the original circular symbol. Now insert a new layer and paste it in this new layer. Right click on the layer, select guide. When we guide any object, it will not be shown in the preview of an animation. Check the preview by pressing Ctrl plus Enter. Wow! See the water flow? But still needs some fine work. Close the preview. Go to the mask layer. Apply outline mode to the mask. Select the squashed symbol. Squeeze it to get the required shape. Press Ctrl plus Enter to check the preview. Duplicate this squashed symbol by pressing the Alt key and dragging the object. Flip it. Do you remember the steps to flip? Generally, we flip the shape from Modify, Transform, Flip Horizontal. We may flip the symbol using the free transform tool by click and drag as you saw in the video. Not getting it? Slide back and watch it again. Move the symbol as shown in the video. Flip it to get the required shape. Check the preview. You can observe that the timing of both the water flows is the same, but the shapes are a little bit different. Now we'll be using these shapes to create more water flows. How can we do that? But of course, using the duplicate option as we have seen earlier. Duplicate the symbol and change its position. Scale it down. Watch the video carefully. We are changing their timings. Loop option will be on and timing would be 10, 19, etc. This will help to remove monotony of the flow. Check by moving frames. Create replica of the shapes on left side water flow also. Remember, it's not a mirror image. We are keeping positions, scaling and timings different for each flow. Check the preview with Ctrl plus Enter. You can see the water fountain. Close the preview. Let's refine it a bit more. Check the positions of the objects carefully inside the mask layer. Match the positions properly at the place from where the water is coming out. You may edit the mask layer as per the requirement. Zoom closely and check that no hidden portion is visible in the preview. Check the preview. Excellent! Nice water fountain, isn't it? So we have achieved our target. Practice it more. Apply your creativity and become professional VFX animator. Thank you.